Ho! Hey! Happy homebrew. Happy ho ho homebrew Wednesday. We're going to start it off. This is a little intro. This is a special one. And this is going to be some cider from Mr. Sparty 1995. I got this earlier this year back in June. Um, Thank you, James. Thanks, James. I hope all is well with you. Happy holidays. Let's get into this to kick off this week's Homebrew Wednesday. You may notice that this week is number 80, and it's a little out of succession, and there's a reason for that. Did we miss a number? We sure didn't miss a number. Did we add a number? We did a number twice, but oh. <laughs> I'll touch on that more in a second. For now, let's, let's see what this is all about. Ooh, oh. does that smell good? I got one more. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Elder P needs a little sample of this. She's off camera, of course. Okay. Now, this is mm. cider made with Scottish ale yeast, and I have another one lurking somewhere that's made with English ale yeast. But we're going to try this one. Cheers, James. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, it smells lovely. Oh, my. Oh, my. oh mm. that's great. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. I, think, I think that's one of the better ciders I I've ever had. I think this could get you into trouble. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't recite any of the information on this. I, he, he's, it's not on the bottle, and I can't remember it so far back what the details are, but... It's very sweet. I'm thinking that it might be back sweetened. Yeah. But regardless, it's fantastic. It is awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, man, that's mm. good. Mm. We're going to cut and we'll be back. Delicious. Thanks, James. Yeah. All right, so that was real tasty. That, that cider from Mr. Sparty. Very, very good. That dude can brew up a nice cider, I'll tell you. And, uh,. I'm a little sinusy and nasally, if you can't tell from the voice. I've been fighting this wicked cold. Uh, so when I got up to Detroit, I came down with the damn thing, and uh, it was brutal. But I just found something in the fridge, and we're going to treat ourselves we're to moving a on. special beer. Another home brew. Label off. Label off. Because we know what it is. Yeah. This what is, is this? This is the Mellow Down Easy version 4. This is the one that went out for the finals, and we're going to sample this now. Where's your score sheets? Oh, jeez. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Red Dog. Red Dog. <laughs> Anyone remember Red Dog? Holy shit, that's a throwback. Merry Christmas. This. You guys didn't see that pour, but look at that. Well, here. That was beauty. There's a pour. Have some. Oh. Mm. This was all bottled off the Blickman. Bam! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh, I, man. I forgot about that. You know what? <laughs> It's been I a while. just I just opened up a bag of Simcoe and a bag of Warrior to get ready for dry mm. hopping the fuzzy caterpillar. And this is as oh strong as opening that bag of Simcoe. I, oh, I forgot. Man. I forgot. Holy crap. Yeah, it's different when you're drinking off of a keg for a few days or a week or two mm -hmm. weeks and you get you almost get I don't know, what is it? Uh, 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 you get used to it. You get a t you get tuned in attuned to the to the hops, and they don't really punch you. But then when you go back and you drink a lot of other beers or non hoppy beers, and you come back to something. as, as Kevin Ke Clement said, "Now I know. <laughs> now uh, now I understand. <laughs> now I yeah, understand. Now I get it. Yeah. Now I get it. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh that's that is deli delightful. Oh man." 
I like it. Mm -hmm, I do too. So, Homebrew Wednesday number 80. And um, last week we hit 500 subscribers. In Homebrew. In, 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 uh, during last Wednesday. week. Wednesday. Huh? <laughs> He's been drinking. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> so, 500 subbers, it's a huge landmark for us. I thought 100 was, was something, and then, you know, it took us a while to get to 500, but 500 is huge. So, for the first time in Under the Table history, we're going to have a competition. And it's going to be a competition that requires some work, because I don't like competitions that are like, yeah, up the thumb, you know, put a comment. Well, here's what we're going to have to do. If you want to get in on this competition, it's going to take some effort. But not too much. Not too much. No, just, Let's talk yeah. about what you're going to win first before you even make the decision. If you win this contest, you're going to get one of each of the five Christmas, Christmas party beers. brews. So that's the speckled heifer, which is a cream ale. The Scottish Ale, which is an 80 shilling. The You're going to get the stout. Savior Stout, which was the Elder's SJ Poor 2014 Challenge entry. You're going to get Pliny the Toddler, a la Under the Table. So it's going to have a little bit extra something something. It's going to have uh, some extra dry hops and some homegrown hops in it. And then you're also going to get the Fuzzy Caterpillar IPA. So that's one 12 ounce bottle of each. Wherever you live, we're going to mail it out if you're the winner. Now, it's going to be a drawing competition contest. So we're going to put your name in the hat. In order to get your name in the hat, you have to do two things. First of all, answer the first question, which is, which Homebrew Wednesday number did we do twice? Hence, Wait. hence Homebrew Wednesday 80. Because last week was 78. 78. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is what is one of the huh. subjects of each of those Homebrew Wednesdays? So you're going to probably have to go back and watch. You're going to probably have to go back and look to see what number it was. And you're going to probably have to go back and watch both of those to give us a little bit of a snippet on just you know just touch on you guys talked about this or you had footage of this in it was the first and the second so you need to do two different points there it wasn't the one where I got the truck stuck in the mud no <laughs> no that's an oldie yeah that's a throw but so what we need you to do is make a comment below and tell us that you're in the competition for one I guess it's three-sided then Put a comment below, tell us that you're entering the competition, and then send us an email at uh, underthetablebrewing at gmail.com. So it's our channel name at gmail.com. Super easy. All one word, underthetablebrewing at gmail.com. If that doesn't work for you, you can send us a PM on uh, the old YouTubes if you know how to get to it. So you kind of have to go to the channel and then go to about, and then there's a little private message uh, button down there. It's a little hard to get to. So, that's what you're going to need to do. Easy, yep. right? <laughs> so, and we got a deadline. And we have a deadline too. Trying so, to do it by a certain time, so it just makes it yeah. logistically... So we're going to leave this, this open for three weeks. So we'll probably give you a reminder next week. I don't know if we'll do a Homebrew Wednesday the week of Christmas, but anyway, we'll send out a reminder and uh, let you know it's still going on. And then once the competition's closed, we'll, we'll also let you know about that. My beer is evaporating. I want to save her mine. <laughs> what did I miss? Ooh. I have mm -mm. some of that. Ah. So easy. Did you guys get that? Which Homebrew Wednesday did we do twice? Mm. And what was a content point of each of, of those, those two Homebrew Wednesdays? Send us an email at underthetablebrewing at gmail.com or send us a private message on the old use of the tubes. All right. We're going to get back to enjoying this tasty beverage. 
racking over some beers. We just kegged up the Pliny the Toddler. Uh, I'm going to get some gas on that. And we'll be back for a little bit of a wrap up. See you in a second. Damn stage manager, I told him to put a light in. I did. He put a light in, and you still can't see well, it's in the, the hole. Location, location, location. That's location. what it is. It's all about location. Big hops. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. It's time to wreck. Let's see that. Oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> Got to check this out. Now, what is this? We have islands floating. Oh, man. Oh, dumplings. Hopperidge. Hmm. Little yeast islands. This is the uh, Warrior Simcoe IPA. So, it's been uh, fermenting for two weeks today. So, let's get it racked over, get a sample, get a gravity reading, see how it tastes. Alright, so we're racking. We're racking on two, two ounces of uh, Simcoe and one ounce of Warrior. And just because, I know Warrior is a bittering hop, but uh, I really like the aroma on it, so we're going to give it a go. Gravity sample, eh, got a bit of floaties in there, but uh, came in final, is it uh, yeah, between 10.10 and 10.12, so I'm going to just go ahead and say 10.11. It's kind of right smack in the middle of them. See what it tastes like, huh? It's really running clear now. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah. That's a good taste in IPA right there, buddy. Yeah. I like it. Sure beats that uh, Dawn dish detergent I was drinking earlier. <laughs> oh man, I'm still digging on this. Oh, mm. I shared mine. Mrs. loves this. Yeah, I know. Mm. I wish I could share this with everybody. Maybe someday. <laughs> <laughs> this homebrew train keeps rolling. Look at that. That's the speckled heifer cream ale. And the carbonation is lovely. Kudos, Elder. Thank you. Oh. This, hands down, is, is better than the first time we brewed it. Oh, yeah. No doubt. This beer is, is awesome. And I had a thought for the Christmas party. We might make some black and tans. <laughs> using this and the Savior stuff. That'll be fun to try. Yeah. The carb isn't quite there on the Savior stout, but it's, it's getting, getting there. there. It's getting real there. close. Oh my gosh. This beer. Yeah. Don't get sick now. No, Drink I'm, off the other I'm side. Drinking off the other side. <laughs> How about that? I go to Seattle, he gets sick. Oh, then wouldn't that be awful? Yeah, don't do that. I can't. I, hope not. I can't afford to be sick. I hope not. That's what you said the week before you got That's sick. That's what I said, said before. Yeah, I, can't I can't afford, afford to, to be sick. sick. Yeah, blah blah blah. But I'm not getting sick, is what I said. That's right. I, I have the that. power of positive thinking. Hey, we had to change the angle a little bit so we could bring yeah. in the Christmas lights. The lights weren't lit. The big B stands for black. Black IPA. Not bogus. Yeah. Shh. Oh man! Did this, you see those drips? This is Chris's black, black IPA. IPA first brew ever. Chris isn't here to enjoy it with you us, but he's been giving us a bit of a rash for uh, getting him into a glass. Yes. <laughs> I went in the house and I rinsed the glasses and I left them sitting on the counter. Hey. So we're gonna try give and grab a couple more glasses. Give us a second. Yeah. Uh, getting a buzz on now. Something about small cups and drinking a dang many mead. Oh, yeah, we didn't drink oh a mead God. yet. You know we should have. Oh, a we mead. got a mead. Oh, we got a mead. Look at that, dude. Uh, this is bottle condition, so I'm going to be careful at the end here. That's beautiful. Oh, I talked to the stage manager. He brought hey. in some lights, but they're way over there now. 
Oh, but Can the you camera's see that? out of position. Oh, man. Get that's that cameraman awesome. to move that thing over a little bit. Hey. Dude, there's head on there. That looks like carbonation. This is an awesome looking Beautiful beer. color. Look at the color. First time brewer, man. Hey, hey. Chris, this looks great. Oh, Ooh. look at the color of that head. The aroma. Get a nose. Wonderful. Oh, yes. I'm oh. picking up the Citra and the Simcoe and the Cascade. That's good. Huge amounts of grapefruit and citrus and a little bit of well, that I'm gonna dank dive and in. cat pee. Cheers, man. Cheers, Here's Chris. You, Chris. Dude, nice. Oh, that is nice. Ooh. That is nice. Got a little bit of a roastiness in That's there. That's got that roasty malt. Mmm. Wow. I like it. Getting a little bit of a molasses. I think that might be mm -hmm. the extract. Yep. Nice. The caramel molasses kind of sweetness, but it's got the bittering from the hops. It's just really nice. It's just it's a nice really balance. well balanced. You know? Yes. I could drink more of these. Yeah, and you know what? I think he left us a couple of bottles, <laughs> so we got a couple of He was of nice enough to it leave us. It was really sweet of him. Five? Yeah, six pack anyway. Mrs. Elder P is having one now. Yeah. This is our first. Chris, this is awesome. Dude. Hats off to you, brother. Awesome. Great, great job. Yeah. I can see why you want to brew again. Oh. <laughs> All right. That one's about gone. It's about too far gone. Okay. Huh? What? Christian! Christian's beer! Mr. Christian! Mr. Christian! Hey! CH138US Hoppy Red Kilt Riser. Oh, this! Guaranteed to give your spirits a lift. Mm. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm like down on the bottom here. Oh, Kilroy. Holy cow. Kilroy was here. It's making my uh, hat stand on the. End. Let's get in on this. It's pretty cool getting to taste some of these West Coast Challenge beers. We'll see how this one's uh, holding on. Bottled on 520. This is a little bit aged, and I, we apologize for that. But we just found it in the back of the fridge. I forgot about it. But it is a 9% plus, right? 9.3%. So hopefully those 50, hops hung in there. 50.2 IBUs. Imperial. Definitely Imperial. Excited about it. I am too. Not a whole big hiss on there, but that sucker is filled up right to the top. So maybe there wouldn't be much hiss coming out of it. Let's get a pour. Oh, where's the camera? Over there. Whoop. There's carbonation in there. Yeah, there is. Look at the color and the clarity. Woo-wee! That's yours. Oh, there you go. There's an empty. Now, I think these are bottle conditioned. I get a little aggressive on that. Little glasses don't lead much. Don't leave much for you there. All right. Gorgeous color, man. Clarity. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is really, really pretty. Really pretty beer. That is very Let's get a nice. nose. Oh, you could smell that it was really hoppy. Yeah, the hops have faded a bit. It's evident that they were there, though. Cheers. For sure. Cheers, Christian. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That is good, though. Oh, I would have loved to try this fresh. And we should have. Well, we only got it. We haven't had it a whole time. No, we haven't had it a long time. When did we get it? But, uh, Kevin sent us out uh, a number of uh, beers. Uh, ooh, it's been a couple of months now. Yeah. And I've been keeping them cold, keeping them in the fridge, because I knew some of them, well, this one particularly was hoppy. Um, we have a his. We have a couple other ones. 10% well, in there. What, yeah. what was that? The, Kevin's uh, chocolate, uh, chocolate cherry, cherry bourbon. bourbon. His SJ pour entry. But that's 
That's nice. That's approaching barley wine. Oh yeah, that is. But it, the, but the flavors are awesome on that, and mm. Mm. you hit it with a, the comment of barley wine. Yeah, that's what it's it really me of. turning it's like, like almost turning into barley wine, like a little light at, at nine point <laughs> two percent. Yeah, it would definitely uh, raise my that. spirits. Oh my god! Don't need to raise them much further at this point. But that is good. That's gonna wrap up our home. This is no Wednesday. way. We're not. We're not done, we're not yet. done we've yet. got No, we've got. Well, there's all those other beers. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need to have something for the future. This has been epic. All right. Get in on the challenge, people. Get in on the contest here. If you want to win some some under the table brewing beers, we got five of them. Five, with your name on them. As long as you can answer the questions. And then get drawn from a hat. So you got to get yeah. to get into the competition. You got to do those things. <clears throat> It'll um, be all right. You'll get it. It's fairly um, simple. You know, if you got any questions about what you need to do, uh, put a little comment below. But we're gonna spell it out in the description of the video. And uh, that's all we got for this week. We're kegging up. We're we've got some beers we kegged up today. We're we're, we're bottling um, right now some of the beers that are carved and ready. And uh, so that's what we're in the process of doing. Going to wrap that up, have some dinner, call it a night. But on the way out, enjoy our little, uh, you, uh, what do you call that? Our, our Christmas lights parade. Oh, yeah. Which is put on by our local uh, fire department, fire department yep. and some of, their, some of their neighboring communities. Uh, they get yeah. involved with it. Uh, it's pretty fun. So, so on the way out. Enjoy that. Cheers. Cheers. Happy see holidays. You. See you next week. And we'll see you. Cheers. Mm. That's a tasty brew, Christian.